My name's Julia and I'm the founder of Little Thud Soap Company. In a nutshell, I make soap, basically soap and shampoo products. Everything's handmade, packaged as well, and it's all eco-friendly, really important. So not only is it good to your skin, it's kind to the planet too. Life circumstances that brought me to a situation in my life were, were, that was just perfect timing to start my own business. It's something I always, always wanted to do, so I thought, now or never. So it was a question of what can I do that I enjoy doing and that also ticks some of the boxes that I feel is important to me. And one of the huge things that I've got a bugbear about is the waste of single-use plastics. So that's when I looked at the cosmetics and toiletries industry and came up basically with the idea that let's produce solid soap as it doesn't require single-use plastic bottles as packaging. What was it like getting your first sale? Incredible. <laughs> in, in fact, actually, it was, it was a complete fluke I got my first sale. I, I actually went into a chemist to get some feedback, took some samples with me, went in, met the manager, showed them the product, asked them what they thought, they put an order in then and there, and that was my first sale. So it was before I'd even actually launched, so good start. Self-confidence, um, waking up every morning and thinking to myself, can I really do this all by myself? What, what am I doing? Um, so that's definitely a, a, a mental thing that I've got to get over um, and do. Uh, the other thing is the legal side that I discovered um, when, when starting this business was, was quite mind-boggling. Obviously, when you're creating a product that's going to be sold and put on someone's skin, it has to be safe. So there is so many uh, legal requirements. Every recipe has to be signed off by a chemist, certified, you know. So it all takes time. It's all, it's been a huge learning curve, but it's, it's been exciting and interesting. I'm enjoying it, which I guess is the main thing. If it's a day when I'm making soap, I, I generally get up 5.30, start making at 5.30, so that the, I can get the batches made um, and I can be demolding um, and wrapping by the end of the day. Um, in the time between, product photography, marketing plans, sales, customer orders, shipping, every day is different. There, no two days are the same, which is, it's just why I love the business really, because it doesn't get boring. What's the one piece of advice you would give to anyone who wanted to start their own business? <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> Make sure you know your product, you know your subject. Enjoy what you do. It's really, really important to be passionate about what you do because if you have a passion for your product, then somebody else will as well. You've got much more chance of, of, of you know, projecting that, that passion onto others. But also, you've got to be able to take knockbacks and criticism because they will come and you will get knockbacks and many of them so you've got to have a, a thick skin but learn from the mistakes get up and get on with it if you believe you can do it then you can